Hey, Russ Johns here. Thank you for being here today. And I wanted to share a five minute tip for using Canva. I'm a podcaster, broadcaster, and digital media producer. So if uh, you want some assistance, give me a shout, track me down on Twitter, follow me on Facebook. Canva is the today's topic and it's free. Just sign up, use your Facebook and uh, go in. Once you launch it, it's super simple. You can go in and be presented with a palette of options. They have pre sizes. They have podcast album art, Facebook, Twitter, etc. You know, uh, business cards, anything you want. Today we're going to be talking about some responses in Facebook comments. And what I like to do is uh, create custom size, and I like to grab a 600 by 200. It seems to fit nice. And uh, you just type in whatever size you want. You can grab that. And, uh, and it's by pixels or inches. You can make the selection. And then you hit design. And once you get the design section up, it opens up a palette. Clean, fresh, ready for your artwork. And so what I like to do, and uh, everybody's different. But what I like to do is, uh, you know, there's some images there. There's some sizes. You can do a search on boxes, anything you want. And I like to keep it super simple. You know, you there's a ton of images. And the way uh, Canva is priced is they charge you a dollar per image that you use from their particular inventory. And you can upload your own inventory. You can use anything you want. So I like to select a background, select a font. Select a uh, size, and there's some, uh, you know, some adjustments you can make in here, and there's a lot that you can do. And uh, I'm thinking about teaching a class on this. Uh, if you have any interest, let me know. There's some really creative stuff that you can do about layering, and and they have also a lot of inspirational tutorials that they can go through, and teach you a lot about what the platform will do. What I like to do is keep it super simple, you know, have a response. What I'm looking for when I do these things is I just want to step outside the box a little bit and uh, just to just to go the extra effort in making a comment. So what I like to do is I just like to put my name on there and uh, make sure that uh, I'm spreading the brand, making sure the message is clear and also you know, people notice that. I mean, they you get to build up a reputation, uh, understanding of who you are and what you do. And it, if you're consistent with your message, you're consistent with your brand, then people, you know, they're more familiar with what you're going to be able to do. So put it out there, play with the design, get it out there, make sure that you're just kind of playing with it, you know, have fun. So once you create your image, you can actually save it download it to your local hard drive and you can actually save it in a PNG file or a PDF file, whatever is appropriate for your, your application. If you want to print it, PDF is, is the best way to go. So if you're going to insert it into other objects or, you know, other documents, you know, PNG is a great way to do it. And it'll save it to your local file, your hard drive, and then bam, you're done. Less than five minutes away after you get your setup, Remember, RussJohns.com, digital media production and podcasting. I teach and train people on how to podcast and get their brand message out there. And if you have any thoughts, any suggestions, recommendations, please share them with me. Track me down on Twitter. Follow me on Facebook. And thank you so much for being here. Enjoy the day. Take care.